New South Wales is facing a long and challenging bushfire danger period. This follows many years of severe drought and then a number of years of drought breaking rains. This has resulted in a prolific growth of fuels, particularly in grassland areas. These fuel levels have not been seen for some 35 years. This sets the scene for large, uncontrollable fires which have the potential to threaten an impact on you, your family, your property and your community. Uh, in 2006 there was a fire probably about five or six kilometres away from us. Um, we, it was a very windy day as such. Um, there was an ember strike in the valley below us and very quickly a fire spread up the, the slope and uh, we were soon encountering a sort of blowtorch condition. Um, sadly, um, my neighbours next door, uh, they lost their property within a very short time of the fire reaching the ridge line here and um, we, were, we were pushed to defend ours in respect of um, the ember attack that we're under. Already this season we have seen some significant fires in the northern part of the state. More recently on the central coast of New South Wales, a small community was impacted by a fast moving fire which came right up to the backs of many properties. Questioned afterwards, the residents said they were totally unprepared. A survey conducted recently has revealed 89% believe the season ahead is going to be a dangerous one and 75% have said that they have not considered a bushfire survival plan or what action they might take to protect their family. When I was a little boy we had a big bushfire came through our area and uh, from, from now every summer we one of the things we do is clean out our gutters and clean out all the twigs and dead leaves so it doesn't start a fire in our gutter, in our, in our house. Our bushfire survival plan is to keep the grass short because if it gets too high it can get dried out and then start a bushfire. So um, we keep it short with mowers and stuff like that around the house and we've only got one entrance to our place so if there's a bushfire coming from a like, direction over there um, we have to make the decision to get out early um, or stay because if um, it comes and before we leave we're stuck here so um, we have really to be careful. Many parts of the Wallandilly Shire are high risk bushfire areas. We need to know what this means. The bushfire survival plan will step you through this vital information. What does the daily fire danger rating mean? How do I prepare, act, survive? The Bushfire Survival Plan will take you through these very important steps. Do we stay and defend or leave early? The Bushfire Survival Plan clearly gives some suggestions on what to consider when making this important choice. In 2002, or early 2000, January 2002, when we've uh, lost a, a lot of property, sheds, hay, and uh, pretty hard going since. We've only just uh, last year put the new sh hay shed up and that's taken 10 years so you imagine how long it takes to recover from these sort of things. I ask you to take a very simple step. Download a bushfire survival plan from the New South Wales Rural Fire Services website or pick a copy up from your local RFS district office or alternatively from the foyer of the Wallandilly Shire Council offices. Sit down with your family and go through the bushfire survival plan and discuss your options, what you will do and when you will do it. Our Rural Fire Service volunteer firefighters are from all walks of life. They are men and women from different cultural backgrounds, ages and professions. They are ready to combat the fires associated with this year's bushfire danger period and beyond. But we all need to do our bit to help. Well, we had an interesting Christmas day on 2001. Um, we were aware that there was a bushfire because I could see it from the house since we're right up on the hill here. And it was moving across the ridges from the mountain area. And I kept an eye on it all day. But eventually it did come across the river and up the gully. And previously we had just had a normal day and I'd made lunch and kept an eye on it all through the day. Um, and thought it had gone past because the wind was blowing extremely hard and it kept going but because of the gully 
it came up and so it was very quick. My daughter and I left the house. We just got down the hill as the flames were going through these native trees and the house was beginning to burn and that's all we knew at that time. Making a survival plan is life-saving. We all need to make a survival plan. It's all about your survival. You really need to make a survival plan. In this presentation, we have spoken to people in our community who have lost their homes through bushfires. Let's hope it never happens to us. Remember, planning to make a plan is not a plan. Yeah.